The government reported Friday the economy shrank in the second quarter by 1%. Far less than the 6.4% contraction in the first three months of the year. Home sales are finally showing signs of life, and we're expecting data today to show similar signs of improvement for auto sales and manufacturing. There are signs of recession is easing. And if you think about where we were at the end of the last year, you know, we had an economy in free for all, a financial system on the verge of collapse. And uh, the actions this administration has taken have been very effective in helping stabilize conditions. But Nobel Prize winning economist Edmund Phelps says the question is not whether the recession is over, but what the recovery will look like. Dr. Phelps joins us here this morning. Doctor, uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, while a lot Pleasure. of people are focused on green shoots, you see uh, a long slog ahead, in your words, for the economy? Uh, yeah, I think the, uh, <clears throat> there, there are balance sheet problems all over the place in commercial real estate and housing. And, of course, we forget that the household sector is also in very bad shape. Uh, its uh, liabilities are uh, the match of its assets. So households are going to have to do an awful lot of rebuilding of their wealth. And um, even if that built rebuilding goes on at a pretty good clip, it'll take uh, 12 or 15 years for households to get to the wealth level uh, that they had um, several years ago. Well, historically, coming out of recessions, we, uh, we see them end with a bang as pent-up demand is satisfied. <clears throat> not going to happen this time? Well, I'm not so sure about the next year, so it could be that we'll come out of the, we'll, we'll, come, out, we'll come off the bottom with, 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 a, with a sharp, sharp U-turn, and um, uh, so that things may look very peppy for six months, 12 months, whatever. Uh, Firms will find that they have to step up production in order to meet the sales level because they've run out of inventories, things like that. So things may look terrific for uh, a half a year, maybe even a year. But I, I'm, I'm worried that uh, as we go down that road that uh, business investment is going to remain on the weak side. And consumer demand, which is what I was talking about before, consumer demand is, is, is going to take a long time to rebuild to normal levels. Now, <clears throat> let me just say that there is a theory out there that says no problem. If consumer demand is weak, export demand or investment demand will rush in to fill the vacuum thanks to um, normal market forces. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, uh, it's going to take a long time to rebuild expo exports. And, and I don't think the Chinese want to do all that importing. Mm -hmm. They'd rather produce it themselves. <laughs> well, is there anything the administration can do, Congress can do, any kind of policies you could pursue <clears throat> to try to overcome the, the, the drop in long-term potential? Well, my pet scheme is uh, low-wage employment subsidies offered to, f offered to firms for their ongoing employment of low-wage workers. That was a, a, a plan an idea that was uh, tried out in the Netherlands and, finan and France, and it's still in force. And now just recently in Singapore, uh, they went for it in a big way. Uh, they've got very large subsidies to companies to induce them to hang on to their uh, low-wage employees. The subsidies bigger, mm -hmm. the, the lower the wage of the employee. And it's worked. GDP in, the, in Singapore has fallen 9%. But the unemployment rate has gone from 2% only to 3%. That's fantastic. Had we done that in this country, we wouldn't have had this massive unemployment now. i got only about 30 seconds left, but I want to ask you quickly, because it was a big topic on the talk shows yesterday, change in the U.S. tax system. Uh, people are saying we need to get away from the income tax, maybe something like a value-added tax. Well, I think a, 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 a value-added tax would... would uh, come in handy if we, if we want to actually have the resources to pay all those social insurance entitlements to the baby boomers when they get ready for it in the, the year 2020. Would you bet on it happening? Well, maybe so. <laughs> all right. That's all time we have. Sorry very much. Thank you very much for coming in. Columbia University okay. economics professor Edmund Phelps.